guys. Hey guys, this is Ray Gamer Man. Um, this is our couch, and this is the My Little Pony balloon for my birthday. Anyway, um, I'm here to talk about something that um, upsets me very much, and that was very cheap. I got it at this like Game Palace place. I don't know the name of it. it was, I think it was Game Palace. And they sell like older game stuff. Like they used to have Game Boy games and NES games and stuff. Well, they still have NES and Super NES and stuff. But let's get to the point. It sold us a fake and unlicensed and non-working NES controller. Here's the box. Okay. So there's plenty of things that I'm angry about and it's very frustrated because, um, you know, this NES um, thing didn't work. Um, if you're watching this video and you wanna go get a new NES controller, don't get this one. And there's this other one with a black packaging and an NES game, um, NES controller in the middle, and it does not work either. So, you see we paid $15 for this, and it, it is fake and it does not work, and I'll show you. It's by this company, Tell Me which sounds like the Tomi, or is it Tome or Tome, E-E, -E or T-O-M-E-E, -E -E. um, but it's probably not. Okay, so, um, for NES, Bora, NES, Bora, NES, controller. Or, okay, so you don't need, like, I mean, you can't really see this because my camera needs glasses. I'm just joking, whatever. You can't really see it. I'm just going to read what it says for you. Well, you can look at, um, you can look at this, um, Mr. Potato Head bucket of parts from the, um, 80s. Um, so you can just look at his face. Okay, so what it says is, replace your broken or lost controller for the NES with the Tomy, well, I think it's Tomy, Tomy NES controller. This controller features a seven pin controller connector, eight way directional pad, and two, fa two face buttons. It works great on the NES and replica systems. Done looking at you, Mr. Potato Head. I guess you, we are. Um, anyway, it is so, so fake. I mean, that just looks like, um, I'm not joking or anything. This really doesn't work. I'm here to prove it. Okay, so um, one more thing I want to point out. Remember I was mentioning the NES in the black box? Here it is. It does not work, um, and it never will work. And here's the little thingy. However, this GameCube controller is not really licensed by Nintendo, but it works perfectly. Um, anyway, it's not by the same company or anything. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here now. There's my Game Boy. Um, so I'm just going to come in here now and show you. This is the TV that we're going to be using for the NES today. Wait, where's the game? Oh, here it is. Contra. And so, um, I'm going to show you the, um, comparison of the real NES controller that works and the fake cheap one who does not work so i don't really want to take it out of the box because i already tested it and stuff but i am taking it out for the sake of this video to show you that this does not work and do i sound frustrated and i am frustrated it's really annoying um so let's just compare the two of these controllers okay um, here is the NES controller. It's not new from the package. We're definitely returning this because we have the receipt. Um, so anyway. I'm just trying to untangle it. Okay. So here it is. Looks like an NES controller to you, but... When it's side to side with the real NES controller, like it's there's lots of difference. Not really see it. Well, my camera isn't that great. It's just a flip camera. But you can tell right here. This is gray, right? You can see that that's gray. This is like purple gray. 
And another thing is that the buttons on this one is smaller than this one. I don't know if it's my buttons have been worn out by playing it, you know, by the people 30 years ago. <laughs> and, um, or, you know, whatever. These, the start and select buttons are gummy here. They're soft, they're gummy. These ones are hard plastic. And one thing else, Nintendo. See you license by Nintendo when it works. Um, who made this again? And on the back, you can see it comes with a sticker, which came with the other one. And it still has a place where it would say Nintendo Entertainment System. And it doesn't, anyway. And it doesn't have that one screw in the middle. <laughs> um, but, so... And one more thing that's kind of strange is that the button sounds... And the button sounds on this one. I like that this one is louder. Um, so I'm going to plug them in to show you that I'm not just making a big deal out of an NES controller that really works. Because I'm not. And my subscribers can trust me, okay? So I'm going to plug this one into player one. I already plugged the other one into player one. It still didn't work. I tried unplugging it. I tried blowing into it even. Still, oh my gosh. Is it working? Okay. It still didn't work. Anyway. So let me just plug them in right now. Okay, here we are. They're both plugged in, player one and player two. And let me just get the game. Oh my gosh. Those are the two controllers falling. So, um, here are, here's the game, it's Contra. I tried it with other games. I didn't try it with other games, but it obviously doesn't work. It's obviously a fake. And if I don't, if I push it down, it never works. I saw this video on YouTube, and it always works if you keep it up. I know you shouldn't always trust videos on YouTube, but I did, and it ended up working. But now it's not working for some reason. It's like stage fright. It's like you don't want to be on YouTube. Okay. I'm... Ugh. This game is so annoying. My NES does work, by the way. I'm just hitting it right now. I know blowing it does the moisture thing and whatnot, but it works sometimes. Okay, it's finally working. Okay, so two big things. Um, you know, if you press, let's try it out in two player. So here's the real NES control. Here's Faco, um, the money waster as I call it. You know, um, it makes you jump every time you shoot, and you can't move. Look, here's the D-pad. I'm moving it right now, and it does not work. Um, a makes you jump and shoot, which is really ridiculous. And you see, this one just works perfectly. It just works like an ordinary NES control should work. Um, you know, like Contra should work. You see, and you know, he's just in the water chilling. But as you can tell, it's all fake. It's all fake and it does not work. If you switch it out with player one, it still will not work. So anyway, the reason I made this video is to educate you guys and to tell you not to buy this specific NES control. Bye guys, this is Ray Gamer Man. Don't buy that control. Don't buy it if it's the only control in the store. It won't work and you'll just be wasting your money. Bye guys.